Honorable Dr. Philip Mpango, the Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania, Honorable uh, Madam Victoria Kwakwa, uh, the Vice President of the World Bank Group responsible for the Eastern and South, my brother, uh, Minister for Finance and Deputy Prime Minister from Cape Verde, Madam, uh, the Vice President responsible for Human Capital, and the World Bank Group. Allow me on the outset to thank the Almighty God for allowing us to gather here today, which demonstrates the support on human capital development agenda in our continent. Allow me also to thank the World Bank Group, both from Washington and the Leslam office for their tireless support to the Minister of Finance for, since the inception and launching and today's main event. Honorable Vice President, surely it has been a fruitful and notable process to organize and prepare the Africa Head of State Human Capital Summit while advancing into a global agenda to accelerate investments in human capital as a response to overlapping crisis. On behalf of the government of Tanzania and on behalf of our ministry, allow me to extend our sincere gratitude for their support not only in organizing this event, but also with a wide range of development interventions that the World Bank has been supporting to our country. As I stand before you, allow me to share some uh, remarkable steps that has been made in accelerating human capital outcomes in Tanzania. Our nation's commitment to investing in our people has been strong and the results have been achieved at a testimony to collective efforts that the government has been doing. Honorable Vice President, my colleagues, ministers, ladies and gentlemen, the first and foremost, we have prioritized education as a fundamental pillar for human capital development. Under the banner of our Quality Education for All program, we have undertaken comprehensive measures to improve access, enhance quality, and ensure the relevance of education across the country. In collaboration with various stakeholders, we have made a significant investment in infrastructure development, that is construction of classrooms, administration blocks, and education policy reforms. These efforts have yielded positive outcomes empowering our youth with the knowledge and the skills necessary to thrive in ever-evolving world. Honorable Vice Presidents, Your Excellency Vice Presidents, Honorable Ministers, ladies and gentlemen, recognizing the importance of equipment, equipping our youth with practical skills, we strongly emphasize on strengthening technical and vocational training by foregoing strategic partnerships with the private sector, we have aligned technical and vocational education and the training programs with the need of industries creating and integrating pathway from education to employment. Currently, we are designing programs that will prepare graduates to all levels, even dropouts, to seize opportunities and they contribute meaningfully to the workforce. Your Excellency, uh, Vice President, ladies and gentlemen, in the year 2016, 
the government introduced a free, free basic education policy making, marking a, a pre primary, primary, and lower secondary education, free waiving all the registration exam fees. The policy has attributed to an immediate increase in enrollment by over 38 percent in pre primary enrollment and over 44 percent in Form 1. And it has also contributed to improving access to education, rapid pace, and improving access for girls. And recently, the government, under her leadership of Dr. Samia Slow Hassan, the President of the United Republic of Tanzania, has included a free, fee free at advanced level secondary education to provide more opportunities to youth and accessing advanced education. Your Excellency, uh, Vice President, and my colleague ministers, ladies and gentlemen, in the field of healthcare, we have taken significant intervention to ensure that our citizens have access to quality health services through extensive infrastructure development, particularly in underserved rural areas, and we have expanded health facilities, bringing essential medical care closer to our people. As of now, we have in operation 217 government hospitals, which include the national, regional, referral hospitals, designated district and specialized hospitals, and also we have 725 dispensaries and 5,719 health centers nationwide. Simultaneously, we have continued to invest in enhancing the capacity of our health workforce through comprehensive training programs and incentives to attract and retain skilled professionals. As a result, our nation healthcare system has become more resilient and responsive to the needs of our population. Your Excellency, uh, Vice President, my colleague ministers, ladies and gentlemen, Tanzania continues to curb poverty and income inequalities through implementation of various programs, such as Perspective of Social Safety Net, that is PSSN, as part of the strategy. The program intends to improve social services delivery, capacity enhancement for communities, rehabilitation of health care facilities, schools, and other small-scale infrastructure. The program has resulted in successfully improving human capital outcomes among the poor. And the rapid expansion of safety nets is all countrywide. As mentioned earlier, none of these achievements would have been possible without our international and national development partners unwaving support and collaboration. Their financial assistance and technical expertise have played a vital role in enhancing the effectiveness and impact of our human capital initiative. Together, through joint monitoring and evaluation frameworks, we have ensured accountability and measured the true impact of collective efforts. Furthermore, we have embraced the power of knowledge, exchange, learning opportunities, and others. By actively engaging with countries that have successfully implemented human capital development strategies, we have fostered a culture of sharing best practices and lessons learned. The cross-pollination of ideas and experiences has accelerated our progress and allowed us to avoid potential pitfalls. Tanzania is proud of having accelerated human capital outcomes through our steadfast commitment to education and healthcare. We remain dedicated to the cause, knowing that the journey toward fully harnessing the potential of our people is going process, and we invite other nations to learn from the experience, collaborate with us, and join hands in building bright future where human capital serves the bedrock of sustainable development. We believe that this summit will be catalyst 
transformative change in Africa's pursuit of human capital development. And lastly, it is a great honor and indeed to welcome the Vice President of the United Republic of Tanzania, who is here with us today. His Excellency Dr. Philip Isdori Mpango to deliver his opening remarks. I thank you very much, Your Excellency Vice President. Thank you.